But like I said, make sure that you focus on one thing at a time. Become really, really, really good at, at one thing. So that's just something to keep in mind. If somebody refers you to maybe a dentist and you have no idea what the heck to do, maybe that's not a good client for you. If you've landed on this video, it means that you want to learn how to get your social media marketing agency clients without cold calling and without experience. Maybe you're just starting out, you have this idea, I want to start a service-based business, but I don't know where to get started. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some basic steps that you need to have in place in order to land your first client and more. My name is Julian Astroska from julianastroska.com and this is the best place for coaches, consultants and entrepreneurs who want to grow their business using organic social media strategies without using any sort of confusing paid advertising. So keep on watching. So when it comes to first setting up some sort of business, whether it's service based or coaching or anything like that, I always recommend you know, you have to have some clarity. You have to know exactly what you're going to be offering. And not to mention, you have to make your services very specific. Do not start very broad and very generic because there's so many social media managers out there. How the heck are you going to stand out? What are your services? Are you going to be focusing on specific social media platform? Are you going to be focusing maybe more on not necessarily social media? Maybe you want to focus on podcast editing or websites or, um, you know, for example, YouTube, right? So what is it that you're already good at or you know? Now, if you're just starting out and you're saying, well, I've actually landed here because I have no experience. I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to do something. So here's my suggestion for you. Make yourself the best case study you can possibly make, right? So how do you get started? You know, what is it that you talk about? So for myself personally, I have always been my best case study, whether it's organic Facebook growth, Instagram growth, content creation, YouTube marketing, you know, this video, I have been, you know, the face behind this channel, right? You know, on the front of this channel, should I say? So I know the things that need to be done. So I have a specific skill set that I can deliver to my clients, right? And you sometimes may be not giving yourself enough credit as far as how much you already know, because trust me, setting up a YouTube channel, a lot of people know, don't know how to do that. There's a lot of people who are clueless about what needs to be included and what needs to be, you know, happening inside of YouTube, right? So I've had clients hire me to set up their channels. So it's basically like, the weight off their shoulders, right? So learn everything you possibly can about your social media preference, right? So let me give you a couple of examples and kind of services that you can focus on. So you can either be an Instagram manager, you can be a Facebook uh, page manager, you can also sometimes manage Facebook groups. So if somebody has a big Facebook group that's more niche down, I uh, haven't seen a whole lot of services like that, but it's basically a Facebook community manager. That's the name of the actual role. Um, you can be a YouTube manager, you can, you know, be like a YouTube channel set, set up or, right? You can be a LinkedIn manager and, you know, there's different kinds of social media management that you can do. You can either just manage the content, engagement, growth, analytics, or you can focus on the paid advertising structure. Now, paid advertising, in my opinion and in my experience, that's the highest paid skill sets or like one of the highest paid skill sets. So if you know how to run the ads, that's an incredible, incredibly valuable skill set. But like I said, make sure that you focus on one thing at a time. Become really, really, really good at, at one thing. You know, figure out what is going to be for you. Maybe you're already on Instagram. Maybe you're already on YouTube. Maybe you're already creating content in a specific niche. It doesn't matter what it is that you're talking about. But in the beginning, just get really good at something and do good for yourself. Now, the next step. So you have to actually create an offer, right? So I can spend hours on this video. Like, I'm not going to do that. If you have further questions, if you're curious about, you know, like how we can work together, how I can help you set up packages and pricing and all, you know, all your systems, then feel free to check out the link in my description or feel free to send me a message on Instagram. Uh, or fill out an application form on my coaching page and we can talk more about that if you need like more one-on-one -on -one help but you need to have a specific set of packages so uh, even if you're not going to be selling them just yet like maybe in the first month you just want to get a couple of like beta clients 
um, that also works, but have an idea in mind what it is that you're going to be charging. Now, there's several different ways how you can figure that out. Um, how I first started actually just brainstorming the services, I first looked on Fiverr and Upwork just to see what people charge there. And keep in mind that you are going to want to outsource. Like there's going to be a point in your business where you're not going to be able to manage probably more than five or 10 clients, right? It's not an easy job to be creating content for, you know, or even ads for another client, let alone 10 clients. So just keep that in mind for the future. You are going to need, you know, a team who you're going to outsource and you're most likely going to find them on Fiverr or Upwork or there's, you know, a whole bunch of different other, you know, platforms. Now, the way you're going to look at it is you want to see, and this is literally a hack, I have never talked about it, but you want to see what the pricing is there on these platforms. And that's basically going to be the 30% of the money that you want to set once you outsource and once you hire those people to do the tasks for you, right? So if somebody's charging $300 per month, keep in mind that it's probably a good idea for you to charge 900 for that. Because again, I want to help you shift your mindset with that because a lot of the times people are going to be like, oh, but they can just go on Fiverr and find that person. They sure can, but are the Fiverr people going to have the same setup that you have? Are they going to deliver the same experience you deliver? People do not, you know, pay for just cheap work. I mean, some do, but I know a lot of people reach out specifically to me because they know my results. They know what I'm, they don't care about who is on my team, right? They don't care about that. They just care about the results that I can, that my me and my team can deliver to them. So that's how you want to shift your mindset is, you know, it's not about just delivering cheap work just so you can get some clients. Now, when it comes to pricing as well, you also want to keep in mind that, you know, you have to allocate your income like the way, okay, so what it is, like, what are my business expenses? You know, am I going to have the team eventually, right? And like also the taxes. So you want to set aside, you know, I don't know where you're at, where you're watching this, you know, 20, 30%. I don't know what your tax bracket is. So you have to figure that out. Talk to your accountant, talk to your CPA, lawyers, you know, whatever. So, but if you are going to be, for example, if you're going to be charging $500 for a package, you know, maybe it's like even something basic. Is this really going to make you happy? Like, are you going to show up for that client the same way you show up maybe like for a $2,000 a month client, right? I'm not saying that you have to charge $2,000 per month right off the bat. I'm pretty sure nobody really will in the beginning because everybody wants to gain that experience first, but you are going to show up differently. Now, not to mention when you're charging 500, there's not a whole lot of money that you can put into that client. Like there's not, you can't really outsource a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So if, if you, you know, let's just say, you pay a VA $200 to manage that client. And if it's, you know, it's still like very little, right? So you only have 300, but not really 300, right? You really have maybe like 200, 150 profit. Like that's not a really good business model. Like, you know, how, ma how many clients do you really need to have in order to hit your income goal, right? Keep that in mind when you're setting up the pricing. Now, so pricing aside, so in the beginning, something I do recommend to do is, you know, first of all, have that pricing in mind, have approximate packages at least, you know, even without the pricing, what is it that you're going to be offering? What kind of results are you going to be promising, right? What kind of, you know, what are the features in your offer and what are the benefits in your offer, right? So you may have like one to two, maybe two to three packages. So, and then you want to reach out to your warm circle. So like, I know this is such an old piece of advice, but that's really how it works in the beginning when nobody really knows you, when you don't really have a portfolio, when you don't really have a whole lot of results to show for, you are going to want to go to your warm friends, or maybe you have a small audience on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or somewhere where you want to reach out to people and ask them, Hey, do you know anybody who is looking for this service? I'm doing this and you know, I'm just getting started. So I would like to get a couple of clients under my belt so I can help them grow initially. Do you know anybody? Right? So, and it's up to you to decide whether you're going to charge, you're going to charge something or you're going to just offer the service for free for an exchange of a testimonial. Right? So I am not a huge fan of free work personally, but that's just me because I've been doing, you know, I've been in business for ages, so I rarely ever do anything for free. Uh, but when you're just starting out, if I were to just get started, I probably would, right? Or you can charge something 
just to, you know, cover up maybe some of your expenses, right? That you're going to be putting into that particular client. So and what you want to do is you want to see like, you know, how long you're going, to, you're going to want to work with that client for free, right? Because if you're offering social media management services, it's a month to month kind of service, right? So it is a monthly thing. So how long are you willing to work with a client for free? Like, you know, and decide on your packages. Is it going to be one month, two months, three months? You can do something like for two months because in a month, it's very hard to see any sort of results. Um, offer maybe like a two months package. Again, that's totally up to you. What's your business model going to be and what your packages are going to be. But I would not be given a year long contract or anything like that for free. So basically you're doing that initial work um, with the people that you know, or the people that somebody you know knows, right? So basically referral kind of base. And, you know, I would pro like, if I was getting started, I probably would take every single client I could get unless I know that I just, I cannot help you, right? If there's somebody in a, I don't know, car industry or, I mean, some kind of industry that I have no idea about, I'm probably not going to be able to take on that client because I don't really know how to create content for them. So, you know, for me, I personally work with coaches primarily, coaches, personal brands. So that's just something to keep in mind. If somebody refers you to maybe a dentist and you have no idea what the heck to do, maybe that's not a good client for you. Now, the next step is you want to deliver the best experience possible, right? So you want to figure out what is the beginning process? What is the next step? Like, how do you work with the client? How much communication is there? You want to see the overall process because when you're first starting out, like when I started you know, offering social media services in 2021, that is basically I restructured, rebranded my entire business to offer these services and turn myself more from coaching to an agency type of business. Um, it's been interesting because at first I didn't know what the heck I was getting myself into. I didn't know all the processes. I didn't know all the workflows and everything I was going to be getting myself involved in. And it took some time to see how everything works and how everything flows. So you know, your goal really is to deliver the best experience possible for the client because, you know, that's really what they're there for. They want results. They want, um, you know, tangible results. They want to see, you know, the growth. They want to see, um, you know, the, maybe like the statistics. Like it really depends on what kind of client that is. Some clients really don't care. They're like, just post content for me and, you know, let's just grow the, the ish out of that, right? So um, deliver the best experience possible. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to set you up for referrals. And that is probably one of the best ways to get clients after you work with a couple of, you know, with a handful of clients is, you know, get those referrals. So for example, so I have my video editor that has been working with me for a hot minute right now. So we've been working together. For, we've had like a one year break or so, but she's been with me for a solid, like over two years at this point. Now, have I referred people to her? Hell yeah. Like hell freaking yes. I've referred, you know, several of my friends to her. I've referred clients of my friends to her. So that's really how it works. When you're really happy with a service, you're going to naturally refer people to them, right? So, and I ask my clients every single time, hey, if you know anybody who is interested in, you know, web design, funnels, social media management services, YouTube services, I would always appreciate the referrals. Now, let me share with you a bonus tip that I recently learned from my mentor and that really blew my mind personally. So I was like a little shocked because I never even thought about it. So what you can do with your clients is you can ask them to send you a referral, but not just a referral. You can also give them either a discount on the future service or, you know, maybe like a month discount for a social media management package, or you can send them a referral fee. So, you know, depending on what kind of package you sign people on, it can be, you know, a hundred dollars. It can be two, three, four hundred dollars. So depending what kind of pricing you're going to set for yourself and that's the kind of bonus that you can send for somebody who refers clients to you. Now, people love bonuses. So, you know, when I tell my clients, hey, you know, if you know anybody, I'll give you a discount of the future service because I know that, you know, there are certain clients that I work on a continuous basis on it, whether we do something every month, every other month. So they a lot of times opt in for a discount and that's totally fine by me because they refer to me the clients that I would not find otherwise if they didn't send them to me. So do not ever ever underestimate the power of referrals because 
Referral ultimately is the easiest client to sign because they will refer to you by the person who has already worked with you, they've already bribed you, they've already recommended all your good qualities. So that's ultimately what you want to have in your business. And you can have a lot of clients just based off of referrals. Now, once you have that initial client base, you're already bringing in some revenue, you're already working with clients, you already have a good workflow set up for every single client, then you can go and expand your own audience and expand you know, your audience. Again, it's not gonna be just a bunch of cold market. I'm not gonna tell you to go and do a bunch of cold calling. I don't do that. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would much rather you know, build my audience and I would much rather have less clients that are super happy than a whole bunch of clients that I don't even have a relationship established with. Like all the clients I personally work with, we have great relationship, we have, you know, we're really friendly with each other and it's just an overall, you know, win-win situation for both of us. So now once you are ready to expand more, then you wanna start building your brand, right? So you can do that like while you work with clients, you can do that before you work with clients, doesn't really matter. I've always been focused on building my brand. So there is, you know, that. Uh, so there's a couple of places that you want to go into. Number one, Facebook groups. So find the groups where your target audience is hanging out, whether it's going to be dentists, plumbers, uh, or plumbers, sorry, like I still cannot pronounce that word. Uh, so plumbers, whether that's going to be, I don't know, like car salesmen, maybe that's going to be real, real estate investors, lawyers, it doesn't matter. Like whoever your audience is, there are Facebook groups for that start delivering value in those groups, right? Maybe they're like, this is my best tip uh, when it comes to Facebook groups. If you know that your target audience is using a specific tool, right? So it may be ClickFunnels, it may be Aweber, it may be, I don't know, like WordPress, maybe they're using a specific WordPress theme. So there's a Facebook group literally for every single freaking thing. So what you wanna do, is join those Facebook groups. And especially if you're a user of the same tool, you're gonna be able to help them, right? So for me, you know, me offering funnel services, I am in a couple of WordPress groups. I am in a couple of, like I am in, you know, like I think two cl uh, click funnels groups. I am in different tools that I am even paying for, right? So uh, of course I'm gonna go out there. And if I know the tool, like in the back of my head, or like on my, on my five fingers, you know, however the heck you say that, then, these people are going to trust me more because I already give them something for free. So some help for free. Now you can also grow a warm audience on Instagram. So, and I actually have a separate video right here where I share three places where you can find clients on Instagram. So definitely check that out. Um, so grow a warm audience over there so you can start, you know, getting some initial, you know, like initial client base from Instagram as well. Now, and a couple of things that I want to share before I wrap up this video is make sure that you actually talk about your service, right? Because that's really a big mistake that I have made in the beginning and like just in different businesses that I have been like myself in is you want to make sure that you actually share what it is that you are doing, you know, whether it is some behind the scenes stuff, whether it's something that you're working on for your clients, you know, it doesn't matter what it is, but share it on your stories, share it in your videos. Like I shared that I have a social media agency several times in this video. So I mean, like that's why I'm doing this video because these are all the strategies that I've used. And that's how I've got my initial, you know, few clients this year once I just launched my services. So talk about your service. And then last but not least, talk about your client wins. So I have shared several times when my clients hit 100 followers by working with me when we just started, you know, brand new accounts uh, with just like, like 80 followers or something like that. So that was a huge win. So of course, I'm going to share that. So client wins are going to do a lot of selling for you on social media. Because when people see that you are capable of getting results, then they're going to start referring people to you. Then they're going to start reaching out to you. So and if you specialize for, you know, one or two, maybe you have like three offers, then people are going to know, oh, you know, she she's the girl that does this or he's the guy that does this. So let me send him the clients. You know what I mean? So that's how you know, referral base is really going to work and you don't have to be doing the sleazy cold calling if that's how you feel about it. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of that, so I'm not going to suggest. And I don't even know if I'm ever going to teach that. Even if I do do that, I just don't see the necessity of that in, you know, me doing it. Now, I will say this. When you want to scale, there is going to be a part where 
you may want to run some ads. You may want to do some cold marketing. You want to, you may want to do some cold emailing or something like that. There are strategies for that. Like don't get me wrong. There, there is plenty. However, at that point, you're probably going to outsource a lot of it. You're probably going to have a sales guy or a girl on the team. You're probably going to have a whole structure. You're going to have, you know, maybe several contractors or employees who help you, you know, manage all of that because you won't really scale by yourself. So always keep that in mind. But these strategies that I've shared so far with you, the referrals, the warm audience, the growth, you know, the setting up the packages, the pricing, like you've learned a lot in this video. So I really hope this was valuable. If it was, definitely give a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell sign to get notified whenever I publish new content, which is multiple times every single week. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Feel free to drop them in the comment section or reach out to me on Instagram. Um, I'm pretty friendly over there. So I always reply to my DMs. And if you are looking for some more help and you just need some more guidance and somebody to walk you through, you know, the ropes and show you, you know, all the bells and whistles, I guess, then uh, check out the link in the description box for the coaching and fill out a short form. And, you know, that's how I work with everybody. Like, that's my workflow personally. So fill it out and we can talk more about that, about how I can help you set everything up. And with that being said, I appreciate you. Hope you have a great day. Watch these two videos right here before you leave and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.